Ja. Right, mate. Alright. Yeah. Can I have your number, please, first? You what? Can I have your number? You can. Yeah. Unit support? Yeah. Is there no proper officer no. coming today? No. Oh, can I have a duty sergeant down here, then, no. please? No, no duty sergeant? No. Right, so what are you here to, to do today? I'm here to take you out if you want to leave. Uh, since when that was asked to leave? Has it been a, I've been, I've, if, you actually, if you actually to speak to me first to get the side of the story, like you're which supposed was, to do. Which was, he was asked to do. Two, two, community, two community support officers turned up. Yeah. No, no officer, no two duty sergeant. Yeah. So this is just a complete waste of time, which they know it is. That's why they sent these CSO, because they don't want to get done for wasting police time again, do you? G4S. Refused to show me his SIA badge when I asked to see it. So I think you're going to have to get your duty sergeant down here, I'm afraid. I won't be answering any of your questions today. Resorting CSO to work for private companies yet again. I'd like to ask to see your du duty sergeant, please, if you're not able to. Um... Let's go down Sniggill. Right. Sniggill? Yeah, we'll walk down Sniggill with you. I'll be doing that, yeah, but I'm able to sign on to make my claim. As no. the law entitles me to do so. To do with me, that I know it's got nothing to do with you, that's why I wasted my time telling you. I think you should get your duty sergeant down here then. Because I'm needing to sign on. I don't appreciate you guys breaching the Queen's peace. Basically, they blackmailed me to go into this screened interview room, which is against my will. And they're uh, blackmailing me, not letting me claim my entitlements if I don't go into this screened room, where I've been assaulted by a police officer before in there, where a duty sergeant well knows and also is due to give me an apology. So there you go. Situation as it is. CSO come to remove me. I won't be an, I won't be answering any of your questions. I'll let's see duty sergeant, so please. I can't speak to you. I've just come today, keeping the right. peace, to make my entitlement, which I've been invited to do so. Okay. I had a reasonable chat with um, the manager Dean here, mm -hmm. who assured me that I'd be seeing him. 
and I wouldn't have to go into an interview screen room again. So I've come today, Dean's not here, I've been asked to see somebody else, which I haven't got a problem with, but then they was forcing me down there in that room, which I don't want to go. So have you had a letter they've just, they've just, print, they've just printed one off right here, right now, and showed me that. Right. Which is no good. No one's to read it. Well, it looks like you already have. Yeah. Not that I give you consent. Let's see your duty sergeant, please. The only way you're going to get to see him is if you walk down Sniggill. Yeah, then these guys are going to shut this door and well, I'm not going to be able to make my claim, am I? Ultimately, end at danger. Yeah, I know it is. One. I just want to sign on. I want to be able to live my life okay. like the law says I'm entitled to live. I think you've had the opportunity, haven't you? I haven't been given the opportunity. I was blackmailed. I was told if I didn't go into that room, I wouldn't be signing on. That's, black, that's blackmail, which is illegal in this country because I was assaulted down there and I, I made the arrangements with Dean, the manager here, to see him and he assured me I wouldn't have to go in that room. But because he's not here today, all these are ganging up, forcing me to go down in that room. I've not caused anybody any harm. I'm a peaceful person and I just want to sign on and that's it and I'll leave. Wasting police time, that's all G4S do. You should know better. Mm. I respect everything you do, but unfortunately yeah. you, we're in a situation here. Yeah, because we're shutting up now. I know, but I've been here for a while now. Aren't you? I haven't. I've been blackmailed. You've been given opportunities to go in that I've been room blackmailed. Uh, I was. I was. I was given reassurance you know, from Dean. Them, from Dean that I didn't have to go in that screen room. I shouldn't have even been in there in the first place. I'd like to make me another appointment to see Dean tomorrow. I'll gladly accept. And also, can you um, get the name of the G4S security guard? He raised his hand towards me in a threatening manner. And I asked to see his SIA badge, and he took it underneath his other, but wouldn't show it there. So I'd, li I'd like to have his name, please, if you can get me that. Right. Thank you. I'll give you his name, then. You have to do me a favour, What's that? I I he's just uh, liaising with oh. the staff now to make another appointment. Reading this letter, it looks like every time you come in... That's, just, to that's just a false allegation. It's a load of rubbish. That's just to just try to justify you, you being here today. <laughs> Apparently your Dean's is sick, so is they can't sick? guarantee him being back tomorrow. Okay, so... Um, Hugh would be the one that we're dealing with I haven't case. got a problem with seeing anybody here, I just don't want to be in that room. You don't want to be in that screen? No. Room, but that's the option that they can sit at that desk, you can stand at either side if you feel like I'm some sort of threat. I, I don't mind that, because I don't pose any threat to anybody. In fact, I'm the victim, I'm the one who's been assaulted and ganged up on. But I'm 
happy to say that you're doing your job today. You I'm happy to say that you're doing your job properly today. I'm not abusing your position, that's good. That's how you get the people's respect and support by honouring what you're supposed to be doing. Tanisley, what's your date of birth? Sorry, I uh, wish to ask, answer any questions. No, any questions no, no, no. So you're not able to make another arrangement, another appointment with Dean? <laughs> Quite prepared to make you another appointment, yeah. but it won't be with Dean because Dean's okay. off sick. They can't that's, guarantee. That's fine, yeah. They can't guarantee you what day he'll be back. Right. However, the only stipulation is that you do it in the screening room. Right. Are you able to be within pre prisons in that room? I don't think they'll allow us in. Why not? It's private, and confidential between you and. Well, the that's what, that's where the issue. Where, that's where the issue lies. Where they start making stuff up like that. Right. Because I've got there's no other witnesses in there. There's the other issue as well. Don't you record people quite regularly? Oh, well, this is for my this is for my own my own safety and data protection at 1998 section 36. I'm allowed to do so. Okay. But the the other problem with that is if you're recording in a public area. No, this no, I didn't originally record. I've only recorded since you walked through that door. I think the staff are thinking that you'll sit and record. No, what, no, I won't be here. doing that. No, I just like the, to come and sign on. That's the all I've done today. Is that, is that you need to be spoken to. Mm -hmm. We need to do signing on mm -hmm. in a in a screened room for whatever reasons have happened in the previous. Yeah, right, this previous is the, this is the, the what, last time I ever go into that room again. I don't want to be going in, forced in that room, especially blackmailed well, to go into that room. Between between us, there's obviously been some issue before where you've ended up having to do having to. Yeah, and if, if, you, if you speak to your deputy, uh, your duty sergeant, you'll you'll understand what that scenario is. Right. Have you done that? I prob I can't. It probably it wasn't even the same sergeant that was on duty the other day. Right, but okay. like I said to you, the only way well, you was, get you was get the duty speak, today. I couldn't tell you the name. Right, okay, so there's no point in going down today then. Well, you could do. You could walk down there and ask to speak to the duty sergeant. No, because this really isn't a police matter. Really, is it? It's not, there's it's no not, crime it's being not, brought this is a civil. When the, the, it only becomes a police matter when somebody's refusing to leave premises. Well, that's. And then we well, then it should be a really a police matter at minute because they're blackmailing me, which is against law. What the blackmailing? Is. They, what, they're refusing to make me sign on unless I go into that screen room. But that's that's the conditions that's that they set the down. It's not the conditions. It's, conditions it's the conditions say. from Dean that I wouldn't. I'd be assured I wouldn't have to go in that screen room. And he actually said he didn't see why I was in there in the first place. And that's coming from Dean. Right. If that's coming from Dean, why have you not got a letter from Dean? Because I didn't. I didn't that. think that I'd turn up today and Dean wouldn't be here. Right. And they've only just printed that one off today. So that's the first time I've been made aware. Of. I might, when I came here, I came with the impression. Any other that you can sign on that? It yeah, I believe it has to be this one. Obviously, you're not going to be able to sign on now because it's too late. No, <laughs> no. It's short at five o'clock. What's the possibilities of that? Well, we'll probably have to take one out for it. Okay. Obviously, it's got to be screened. Well, on this because occasion, on this occasion, I'll take it if I can. If I can sign on now, and then I'll go. I don't think we'll be able. I don't think we'll be able to sign on now. Can't sign on now. You know, we're coming at twelve thirty tomorrow. We'll sort it for you, but it will be in the screen area. And who, who will be there? Will there be some a manager there present as well? It will be a, a work coach from downstairs. We'll come up and. No, I'm going to need a manager there. Why? Because the manager is above the rest of the colleagues here. They're all managers. They're all managers. They're all managers. They're all managers. They're all that you were seeing, they're all managers. Right, so what's the what's the reason for you preventing me to sign on today, can I ask? Sure. Okay. 
close no, now. No, not when I came at ten past four when they had an appointment. We, if you'd have gone in the screened area, we would have signed you that. Yeah, but I was, I was reassured that I wouldn't have to go in there. So when I've come today and been forced to go in there, I'm kind of alarmed to that fact. Well, you have been issued with a letter. Only, ju out only just the second as uh, well, I came I'm through sorry, the door. I'm sorry. You will be signed if you come at 12.30 tomorrow, but it will be in the screen. Can area. I have that in writing then, please? An appointment time that I'll be able to come at half past write 12. It on your letter, if you wish. Okay, and sign it as well with your name. Thank you very much. Get a bit of reverse liability and then I'll leave. Also, can I have that security guard's name as well? It's the one with um, Tim. The one who's walking. Paul. Yeah, he's got another name. Okay, thank you, Terry.